back upstairs, Meg has realized that Christine has disappeared. So she takes her mother's keys, Madame Jury's keys, and goes looking for Christine. And she notices the mirror partly slid open. And this is what the inside of the walls actually look like when the Phantom is not traveling through them. Joseph Bouquet, we talked about him a little bit before. He's the head of the stagehands, probably the backstage manager uh, of the opera house. And he thinks he knows a lot about the Phantom, and he likes to scare especially the girls who are in the ballet company and in the chorus by telling them stories about the Phantom that have been around for many years, uh, that part of his, his face is gone, there's no nose. Uh, there are a lot of different stories about what the Phantom actually looks like. And so uh, he's trying to scare the girls in the ballet company by, by telling them about the Phantom. Like yellow parchment is his skin. A great black hole serves as the nose that never grew. You must be always on your guard, or he will catch you with his magical lasso. <laughs> Those who speak of what they know find too late that prudent silence is wise. Joseph Bouquet, hold your tongue. <gasps> Keep your hand at the level of your eyes. So Madame Giry uh, shares part of the wisdom of being in the opera house with the Phantom, and that is to always keep your hand at the level of your eyes. And what that means is there were stories that the Phantom would use a uh, magical lasso, his noose, to drop it over the head of his victims and kill them. And so if you hold your hand up next to your eyes, if someone drops a noose over your head, they'll not only capture your neck, but they'll also capture your arm inside the noose and you can get out of it that way. So um, the, the rule is, is when you go down in the bottom of the opera house, when you're walking through the catacombs, that you always hold your hand at the level of your eyes while you're traveling through the opera house so the phantom can't capture you. 